Okay, got the uh, Galaxy uh, DX33 HML old school. Uh, like these, like these a lot. So, uh, Phil, gonna take good care of you with this, of course. Uh, you know, I know my way around the galaxies. So, I appreciate you sending this in. Uh, this will be a nice bipolar final radio. Um, no MOSFET. So, uh, hopefully, that's still in good shape. And let's see what kind of uh, preliminary uh, results we're going to get here. I uh, just turned it on, um, like probably a minute ago, letting it just warm up for a second here. And let's see what we got out of the box here. So, here's power. Um, we're 50 watt scale, 50 watt slug, so we're 1x PEP. One, two, three, four, five, 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 four. Uh, just over 30 watts, but I'm having a problem here with. Let me turn the mic gain down. Uh, what I don't like. Yeah, 10 watt, a 10 watt carrier on a single final. That's way too high. So we're gonna get that bumped down. Um, doing good output, so it's, must have a good strong final. So that's good. One less thing to worry about. Let's just see what it looks like on the scope. Um, I got a bad feeling about this on the scope. So, all right, we'll throw the, get the tone on. Oh boy. Hey, yeah, she's blown out. Yep. All right, she's clipped. Um, I'm gonna assume she's clipped. So we're no good there. No good. Um, that's on high. Let's just put it on low for the heck of it. Yeah, same deal. All right. So um, that's that with the output. Okay, got the uh, galaxy opened up here, Phil. Um, yeah, somebody uh, had fun with this one. Um, did a MOSFET conversion, looks like, uh, ERF 2030s in there for the final, so somebody did that. Um, the only thing about that is on this side, um, that soldering work on that final is some of the worst I've ever seen. Um, pretty much uh, just the traces right off the board. Um, anywho, uh, what else we got going on? Let's uh, get our little pointer here. Look for the usual suspects. Yeah, TR32 is in there. Really? Okay. Well, that's surprising. Uh, if you guys could see down there, it's right, right there. So that is there. Uh, what else? What did we? What did we do? We must have done something. Uh, TR forty nine still there. That's surprising. Um. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. This uh, this resistor was swapped out with a diode. That's gonna have to get changed back. Yeah, maybe that's it. So they tried doing a swing mod, and uh, I don't see anything else really cut. So I'm gonna uh, swap that out. Uh, see what value that takes. I think it's like a 10k or something like that. I'll look it up, and then um, see if we could adjust our AMC. And we'll go through it and see what else we find. We'll be back. Okay, I lied again. Um, I said I was going to start working on it, and I'm I, I'm not quite working on it yet. I wanted to do another test. Um, I hooked it up to the spectrum analyzer. Thought it might be fun to see the. Um, I had somebody ask me about a blown out radio on the spectrum analyzer. What it looks like. Um, sometimes I forget to do the before. I just do the after, or vice versa, so I uh, apologize for that if that happens. Um, 
like I said, I try to fit as much as I can into these videos, but at the same time, uh, not going crazy with the length. So, um, we're doing a span of uh, 100K. So, basically, um, each division here across is going to be 10K. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so uh, I figure about 10 channels or so, give or take. Um, you know, sometimes they skip a channel in between. Sometimes you got 20K between a, um, a channel. But anyways, you get the point. So let's see what it looks like. Carrier, and then now I'm gonna modulate. See how that whole the whole spectrum blew out? Cleared out that whole that whole 10 channel span just got blown out. Watch it again. So uh, that's what you call splatter. Holy moly! And right, let's see the second harmonic. Hello, 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 hello. We got a little spike um, right around here. We got another spike. Hello, audio. So, um, yeah. I'm wondering, uh, some of that might have to do with this MOSFET being in here. This is a MOSFET conversion, so, um, so they're usually not that bad, but um, I'm thinking I could definitely get rid of a lot of that. Um, let's see how far down that was. I'll go back to 10 megs. I uh, just want to see how far. Oh, I gotta center myself back up here. Um, I didn't notice the reference on that, so let's see. Hello, yeah, they're below zero, uh, right around zero dB down. Um, so they are kind of in the noise. I have it since uh, I have it's the sensitivity set pretty high on this, but uh, if you see, they come up to about here, so about zero. So they are in the mud. I'm starting here about negative 20 down. So um, some guys started zero. What you know, whatever. However, you have your your equipment set up is up to you. But uh, that's our baseline. So let's get cracking. We'll be back. Okay, we got some parts put back in here. Um, let me get my other pointer here. So we got R238 back in. Um, the AMC still didn't adjust. Uh, realized that right in front of me here, TR53 was clipped out. Um, some of you guys might have noticed that. I didn't catch it right there at first, so then I caught it. Just put that, that back in, limiter. Um, so um, then what did we do? I think that was it. Then the AMC adjusted. We got levels set pretty good now. Um, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cap out. Um, reason being, uh, not so much that I want to upgrade the size of it, but um, if you look down here, it's got a ton of it's a ton of corrosive glue down there. Um, so if I pull this cap out, that glue will just peel right off with instead of trying to scrape all that glue out. Um, so that's probably getting under them leads. I'm going to take that out. Um, same thing with this one. Um, if you can see down there. I know you can't really, but there's glue down on that one, so I'll probably pull that one. Um, and like something like this has glue. I'd like, I'd love to pull this, but I don't have another one of these um, to throw in because that's actually all over the the um, inductor there. Uh, I think that's probably all the glue I see. Um, yeah, for whatever reason they. They threw a they threw a goober a glue over there on that. Of course the of course the slugs missing. I'm gonna try to get us another slug for that. Um, I think that's it. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we got the receive done on the 33 here. There you see the uh, 33 HML, and we got her at uh, negative 110. Yeah, there it goes up to 11 again. Now I took the camera away. There it is, 11 and change. Negative 110. So nice, uh, nice receive on this one. Really happy with that. And uh, we'll show you, show you S9. Uh, let me get it up here to 73. Okay. And that should be 
S9. There you go. So that's lined up. And uh, that's uh, that. So we're all adjusted. Noise blankers adjusted. They're ready to go. Okay, going to give you a quick uh, frequency check here. Show you we got her all lined up on the 33. Uh, flip that on. We're on channel 1. Channel 1, 26965. And 269650. Yep, perfect. So, you're lined up. All right. All right, here she is all done, uh, transmitter section, got her cleaned up on the spectrum analyzer, came out a lot better than I thought it was gonna, um, this thing was just way out of tune, way out of, way, way hacked and whacked, so, here's what we got, um, here's what I started with last time, I started it with 100, uh, 100k spread, we did the 10 channel spread, and it was blown out across, and I'll show it to you after, carrier, Look how nice and narrow that is. So, that's how nice and clean that is. We had it spread, you know, and like this right across. So, that's all cleaned up. Um, show you 10 megahertz. Oops, I did 10. I'm in center. Uh, uh, I'm in my, let's see, 10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So you see the side bands, uh, center, and the side bands, and then we'll go out to 30. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing there, and then final, uh, this is where we had that little spike by the second harmonic, and we had some hash and trash down in there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so uh, she's all cleaned up, came out really nice, and uh, show you what it's doing for power. So, throw the peak on there, and I'll show you that we're still doing power. One, two, three, four, five, audio drive. One, two, three, four, five. So she's still doing over 30 watts. It's not like I uh, detuned the radio down to uh, nothing, and that's why the uh, the harmonics are gone. No, she's still doing power. So as you saw, I went right from the unhooked the spectrum analyzer and put it right to the, the watt meter and the scope. There's the scope. I got to adjust that. One, two, three, four, five. What am I in? Let's slow my time down a little bit there. One, two, three, four, five. Looking good. All right. Okay, so it's all done. Just doing a little finale here. Uh, final clip. Did this uh, video a little different. Kind of did it as I went along. So I'm not doing the... Uh, going through it all again now because I kind of pieced that together so all right um, showed you everything um, I didn't I didn't just tell you it was done on a scope and a spectrum analyzer and then uh, didn't show you the equipment right so I uh, tried to show you everything uh, as I went through it um, I think I told you I did them a couple caps um, I did re I replaced the one I upgraded to a 2700, your main, and then your uh, your secondary. I put another thousand in there, fresh thousand microfarad. Um, I'll just show you one last time on the scope. I don't know if I did the freeze frame on the scope. Um, that signal on. Okay. There's that. And then uh, let you hear it over the air quick, and then that's going to be it. Um, She's dead nuts on frequency. Cleaned, uh, cleaned up all that hash and trash that was that she was putting out. Um, this thing's screaming now. Go to channel 20. I got my monitor radio on up there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five.
That's so nice. And we'll just throw echo on here quick. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Audio. Yeah, that's nice. Nice radio. No squeals. Talkbacks on. Um, let me put it through the external. Um, I'll put it through that little external speaker up there. Let you hear no squeals. So volume up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'll tell you what, um, I know you said this was gonna be a backup radio, but the way this thing came out, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be shy to run this as a full time rig. Show you one last time on the meter. One, two, three, four, five, 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 four. Over thirty. Alright. Thank you, Phil. Radio Garage, we're off the key.